Welcome everyone to the Clinical Center site for the 2021 NIH Director's Award Ceremony. I'm Jim Gilman, the CEO of the NIH Clinical Center. The NIH Clinical Center is the largest hospital in the world dedicated to clinical research. When people speak of the Clinical Center, it's often said there's no place like it. Well, that's also true when it comes to the staff who work at the hospital at the heart of the NIH. As we move forward in this pandemic, now closer to the end of it than the beginning, there have been so many people who have contributed to our successful management of this virus. As I've said before, the Clinical Center has been one of the safest places to work during the pandemic. And the reason for that is the hard work from our medical staff, nurses, frontline workers, and support staff. The Clinical Center owes a great debt to the people who have cleaned the hospital, ensured masks and medical supplies are available, cared for our patients, managed our asymptomatic testing program, and screened over two million people who have come through our doors. All of this so that our colleagues can focus on their jobs, not whether they're going to get sick. Today's event offers us a chance to express great pride, joy, and gratitude as we are inspired by the dedication of our 134 Clinical Center staff who are recognized today with NIH Director's Awards for their special accomplishments. Thanks for joining me for this happy event as we recognize the contributions of Clinical Center staff. The awards this year include Scientific, Medical, Administrative, Technical, Clerical support categories. Dr. Ronald Sumner is recognized in Ruth L. Kirstein Mentoring category. We will start with Scientific Medical category awards. There are two groups and three individual awards submitted by the Clinical Center leaders. Our first group award includes 14 people and is given to the NIH asymptomatic testing team. This honor is for superior efforts to plan and implement a site in the NIH Clinical Center to screen for SARS-CoV-2 infection in asymptomatic staff. As a result of the efficiency of the testing site, the Clinical Center was able to expand the eligible participants to include the rest of the NIH campus with no increase in the staffing levels. Additionally, other NIH sites and agencies have reached out to learn from this team's experience in modeling their own sites. Our second group in the scientific medical category is for the information technology framework to support the NIH COVID-19 vaccine clinic team. Staff is recognized for superior efforts to plan and operationalize a COVID-19 vaccine clinic in the clinical center to enable administration of vaccine doses for NIH staff. As a result of the efforts of this group, the NIH has successfully utilized all available doses with no waste, little or no wait times for staff, and streamlined reporting available via dynamic dashboards. Also in the scientific medical category, I'm pleased to recognize Dr. Karen Frank from the Department of Laboratory Medicine for her exceptional dedication and leadership to rapidly deploy and sustain COVID-19 testing capabilities for the NIH Clinical Center. Dr. Frank's leadership talents rose to prominence throughout this ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. As the complex, challenging global situation unfolded, Dr. Frank served as the lead for the Clinical Center and the NIH for preparations and the seamless implementation of COVID-19 testing beginning in February 2020. Her phenomenal leadership and superb guidance greatly enhanced Clinical Center and NIH readiness to support COVID-19 testing efforts during very stressful situations. In addition, Dr. Frank led a dedicated team of more than 10 individuals in establishing robust and reliable testing, offering the test seven days per week with 24-hour turnaround time, setting the bar and benchmarks for the rest of the region and leading clinical research facilities nationwide. She led and ensured multiple validations were performed beyond what would normally be required due to severe reagent shortages nationwide. Another award in the scientific medical category goes to Dr. Christine Grady in recognition of exceptional efforts to identify and navigate the ethical challenges related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Grady has put in substantial efforts to support the NIH community with the ethical challenges related to COVID-19. First, Dr. Grady organized a series of virtual discussion sessions for NIH staff to help them consider and deal 
with some challenging ethical issues related to the pandemic and caring for people with COVID-19. After soliciting input from clinical center employees about which ethical challenge would, challenges would be most helpful to discuss, she hosted sessions on topics like ethical responsibilities of healthcare providers, ethical frameworks for the allocation of scarce resources, and the ethics of conducting controlled human infection study with SARS-CoV-2. Second, Dr. Grady has led and or participated in a number of COVID-19 related consultations to the NIH Clinical Center Bioethics Consultation Service, assisting investigators and others in navigating ethical challenges in conducting research related to COVID-19 and the allocation of scarce resources. Third, outside of the consultation service, Dr. Grady has also been consulted by investigators, NIH leadership, and others to help consider the ethical challenges related to COVID-19. The third award in the scientific medical category goes to Dr. Tara Palmore for serving tirelessly as a dedicated epidemiologist, physician, scientist, and institutional leader during the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. Dr. Palmore has spent countless hours partnering and counseling clinical center departments and institute patient care teams about the safe clinical management of patients who have suspected or co confirmed COVID-19 infection. When faced with complex patient care decisions, she has approached each case with compassion and caution when determining the best course of action. In addition to her contributions to patient care, Dr. Palmore has continually advocated for staff safety throughout the pandemic. Dr. Palmore's collaboration with the Occupational Medical Service exemplifies her dedication to the Clinical Center pandemic response. She collaborated with OMS leadership on a daily basis to assist staff found to be infected with or exposed to COVID-19 in the clinical center workplace. In the administrative category, I'm pleased to recognize three groups. The first group is the clinical center nursing executive team, recognized for their leadership in the planning and execution of numerous efforts to support the National Institutes of Health during the COVID-19 pandemic. As the COVID-19 pandemic reached community level spread, keeping the occupants of Building 10 safe became a priority. In March, through the use of nursing staff volunteers and Public Health Service Commission Corps officers, screening areas were set up, flow charts and symptom screening were developed, and 100% masking was incorporated to keep everyone safe. The numbers of persons screened increased from 1,200 to over 5,500 a day. By mid-February 2021, over 1 million persons have been screened. Another award in the administrative category goes to Critical Care COVID-19 Transport Team in recognition for the development of air and ground transport procedures for critical care COVID-19 patients coming to the NIH Clinical Center. Memes Air transports have come as far as the Eastern Shore with ground transports from Dorchester Hospital as well as more local hospitals such as Shady Grove. Early in the process when ground transport was not available to pick up a patient at the helipad, the ICU urgent transport team and the NIH fire department responded to bring the patient to the ICU. Third group in this category is Personal Protective Equipment Supply Chain Group recognized for outstanding service in the planning and distribution of personal protective equipment, ensuring safety and health during the 2020 national COVID-19 pandemic. During this critical time, this team established and improved processes to monitor, allocate, and inventory proper PPE usage across the NIH campus. Next are the three groups in the technical clerical support category. Department of Laboratory Medicine COVID-19 Sample Accessioning Team is recognized for exceptional performance and demonstration of technical abilities as a health technician at the NIH Clinical Center. Since the rapid launch of COVID-19 testing platforms in early 2020, and in response to expectations from NIH leadership for the Clinical Center to provide increasingly higher volumes of testing for NIH employees, 
The accessioning team continues to process thousands of COVID-19 test samples per week. Second award in the technical clerical support category goes to the NIH Clinical Center Medical Supply Technician Team for high quality customer service focused on personal protective equipment for the safety of NIH staff and patients throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. This dynamic, dedicated, and collaborative group of individuals displayed highly specialized skills and expertise while working closely together to maintain sufficient levels of PPE in support of the NIH institutes and centers, clinical center, and many others at the onset and throughout the pandemic. Their efforts solidified the NIH clinical center's posture to support staff, patients, and visitors during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. Third award in the technical clerical support category is patient support services department, customer service and support team in recognition of exceptional customer service and support provided to patients, research teams, and clinical center departments during the COVID-19 pandemic. All the staff that are being nominated for the NIH Director's Award for Technical Clerical Support have excelled in customer service, willingly took on additional responsibilities, and worked extra hours to support the NIH Clinical Center during this difficult year. Also in the technical clerical support category, I'm pleased to recognize Michael Alexander from the Office of Hospitality and Volunteer Services for his ability to consistently exhibit teamwork and professionalism to everyone he encounters. Michael is an asset to the clinical center team. His professional and pleasant demeanor create a welcoming atmosphere for patients and staff throughout the clinical center. He continues to serve as primary person to staff at the main lobby hospitality desk. He has been recognized by numerous patients, visitors, and staff for his thorough knowledge of hospital locations, departments, and resources. Michael is constantly sought out to help provide direction and guidance and to greet special visitors at the hospital. Additionally, Michael promotes safety by maintaining awareness of visitors who may need wheelchair or ambulatory assistance and when necessary, calling a code for any visitor who may need urgent attention. Michael always makes sure patient confidentiality and privacy are protected by ensuring that any personally identifiable information unintentionally left at the desk and atrium are secured. In the Ruth L. Kirstein mentoring category, Dr. Ronald Summers is recognized for his exemplary performance while demonstrating significant leadership skill and ability in serving as a mentor. Over the course of his career at NIH, Dr. Summers has mentored or is mentoring 111 fellows and students, including 26 postdoctoral fellows, four clinical fellows, 17 medical students, one graduate student, 35 post-baccalaureate fellows, 25 undergraduates, including summer students, and four high school students. During the pandemic, as always, Dr. Summers has been proactive and attentive to the mental health of his mentees. He proactively brings up the stress and concerns in the current situation where the lab is working virtually. He encourages them to make use of the many resources through the Office of Intramural Training and Education and pay attention to their own wellness, another skill future scientists need to develop in themselves and their future mentees. At the Board of Scientific Counselors conducted in October after six months of virtual work in the lab, the mentees related that Dr. Summers is respectful of their work-life balance, their wellness. In that pre-pandemic and during the pandemic, the lab team and Dr. Summers stay closely in touch with each other.